Hey guys, uh, welcome to my channel and I wanted to make my first video about theming your switch. Uh, the first thing you're going to need is the, the switch theme injector and it's basically two components, just the, the homebrew and the maker. So we, you just go get these and get these. So I already have those on my switch already since I already hacked my switch and I'm just gonna need these two and then you're just gonna need some layouts for Photoshop. I usually use this one, you can just download it over here, just overlay and then just go over there and just like, and then just download it right, right there. And that's it, that's all you need pretty much. And go back to layouts, lock screen, anything you want, just download that. There's a lot, and then just use the ghost one, that's the regular one, that's the, and that's pretty much it, like all these three ones, the goose app the lock screen this one and the home screen to row is basically the best thing you could get for your theme for your switch at the moment and we're just gonna need some wallpaper I actually get a get them on wallhaven you just go there and get some artwork or whatever you want really and just go from there like this looks fine to me and we're gonna be using using crop and scale 1280 by 720 that's the magic number get the 1280 by 720 download and we're golden um next you're going to be going to photoshop just create a new one and just do and set the parameters at 1280 by, by 720 because that's how it's gonna look on your switch and just get the wallpaper that we got there nice and then we're just gonna get the get the overlay that we had before see that's the one i always use put up and we're good and first you're gonna be starting with the home layout and see how that's gonna look and since and this is how it's gonna look yeah it's kind of a bad example but yeah it's gonna look like that all settings this is really gonna shine in the lock screen and that's that's a blessing i usually don't do anything that crazy but if you want to just use a regular wallpaper like this then that's the thing that you need to do and that's pretty much it that's probably how it's gonna look on a switch and we're good here since we don't need any since we've already got everything down we're gonna we're gonna save it save as and since wall wallhaven is weird as hell they usually have it down as a PNG and you can't use PNG on the switch injector. That's that's not nah, that's a no no G. We're gonna you're just gonna turn it into a JPEG, save, baseline, standard, maximum, just get it like as crisp as possible in twelve by in the twelve in twelve eighty by seven twenty thing. We're done here. And that's pretty much it. And then if you extracted it right, you would have gotten the switch themes and, uh, injector. And then you're just gonna make some themes. First, you're gonna just use the home, this, and just two row, and that's it. That's it. It's as easy as that. Walk screen. Clear lock screen, that's the one I really like. And that's it. Perfect. And we're gonna get the all goose, that's the one I like. All as easy as pie. Perfect. And settings, and that'll be all that I want to do today because I really don't care about anything else um, on the switch but if you want you can uh, you can add whatever else that you want to like we're done you could do the user page the news page the player select page you can basically add any wallpaper that you want to uh, and, and you can just go from there and I then we're done here you can either remote install it which is an option I can show you in a minute or you could just use the FTP on your uh, on the switch homebrew menu 
and we'll go from there. Um, Which looks at the moment it's the basic layout on there and we're gonna make it look a lot better than this thing first of all when you're on your switch you just go on the HP menu and we're just gonna get the FTP server started and there perfect and the switch menu now So if you did it correctly, you should have had the switch editor on there. There you go, the switched theme installer. You should have had that on there. That's what you need to make the themes. You just have a folder called themes, just regular themes folder. I already have a lot of themes going on over here. Themes, 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 and just gonna create a new one, call it YT. And just import all the files on there and just gonna Upload it over here. As easy as that, actually. And as you can see, it's pretty much on a switch now. Close that out. And go back on the switch. And we're going to be going to the themes folder. There we go. And as you can see, it's right there. Uh, we can preview it and see, but that's pretty much it on the switch. And if you wanted to, you could have just not forego the whole FTP section and just install and just do a remote install from here and just go down here and just take your uh, IP address and just, and that's it. And just put it in there and then connect and then get the themes you want to and just go from there. Um, but that's pretty much how you do it. But since you already have it on the switch, you don't need to do all that. Just go up here. This is how it's gonna look like. And just press Y and just select all of these all together and then just install. Nice. Okay. And we're just going to reboot. Oh, you always need to reboot if you want the themes to load. And it's going to take a minute and that'll be all there is to it. Uh, the reason I wanted to make this video is because every time I see somebody makes a theme, they usually have the wallpaper stretched out, which is something that I really don't care for. Uh, if you're going to make something, you might as well make it right, which is why we go into Photoshop first and then just um, make sure everything looks fine before we put anything in there and just make sure we got our ratio right or make sure we got our uh, sizing right. And then that's it. And now we're back up. As you can see, everything is looking good. Perfect. Everything looks exactly as we wanted to. Go on the settings, look, everything looks perfect. That's probably why, that's the reason why I wanted to make this video, just to, uh, just to elaborate on the fact that I want everything, everything to look exactly as you want it to. So yeah, everything looks exactly as I want it to. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.